bottom. If your nipples are facing down, Hello and welcome, thank you for tuning in. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about breast shapes, whether you are full on top, full on bottom, and why this actually matters. So you did the hardest part, you found out what bra size you are, I'll link to the video. If you haven't yet found out this information, I'll link to the video above, and you can watch that video on how to measure your bra size. Now you've done all of that, the next step is to know what shape you are and the reason you need to know that is that you will then know what bras will work for you. With anything that you put on your body you tend to buy things that flatter your shape and flatter your figure and the same should be said for your bras. You want your bras to be your foundation pieces and to be flattering. So with that being said, how do you know what your breast shape is and whether you are full on the top or full on the bottom? So it's really easy to find this information out. And the easiest way to do it is you've got the correct size bra on, stand up in your bra and if you are full on the top, you will see some, some classic pointers that show that you might have lower density on top. And that is, is your bra gaping around the top of the cups? Is the gaping, is the gapping, is it puckering? And at the bottom of the cup, you're fully in there and the breast is fully encased and enclosed. On the flip side, are you full on the top and a little bit more shallow on the bottom? Now, if you've got your bra on, are you seeing some spillage? Are you overhanging? Are you noticing that no matter what the size and the size is correct, you've got this spillage? And another way to find out if you are full on the top or full on the bottom is to look at your nipple placement. If your nipples are facing upwards on the top of your breast, that's a sign that you are full on the bottom. If your nipples are facing down, that tends to be a sign that you're full on the top. The next thing you need to consider are, are your breasts wide or are they narrow? And what I mean by that is, does your breast take up this width of your chest wall or does it take up a small amount of your chest wall? This is important to know because it will determine what style and shape of wires you should actually be choosing for the maximum amount of comfort. You also need to know if your breasts are wide set or a little closer set because that will impact the centre gore and how low the centre gore should be. So if you're a little bit closer set, you want to be choosing a lower centre gore. And if you're wider set, you can choose a higher centre gore. With all of this being said, it means that you can make great buying decisions when it comes to your bras. So if you're full on the top, you want to be looking at certain designs that are really suited to your breast shape. So if you are looking at choosing a bra, think about maybe a fuller coverage bra because it comes a little bit higher. Now, even a t-shirt bra would be a great choice or a molded bra because you're so full on the top, you're tending to get, you won't get that ski slope effect and you won't get that gapping that can be created if you're not so full. If you are a little bit less full on the top and you're fuller at the bottom, you want to be looking for a bra that has stretch lace and has, again, a fuller cut to the top of the bra. But stretch lace will be the thing that helps to stop that gapping and that puckering. So I hope I explained that for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you and goodbye.